Hello, this is Chaudhary Mahmood Anwar and I am here again with uh, the third lecture on meta-analysis and I'll explain the meta-regression in open MEE in this lecture. In my first lecture on meta-analysis, I presented the basics of meta-analysis and how to perform the basic meta-analysis in the MedCalc and Stats Direct software. In my second lecture, of meta-analysis I presented on basics of meta-regression which is a very important part of uh, meta-analysis whenever you will find your sample heterogeneous then you are recommended to conduct uh, the meta-regression today I'll present uh, on meta-regression how to conduct the meta-regression in open MEE well, OpenMEE is a freely available software and it's very easy to use software. Most often I have seen that uh, many researchers are looking for easily available, openly available software that is easy to use to conduct the meta-analysis and uh, meta-regression as well. So this is the best choice uh, among all other softwares currently available in the market. In my example on meta regression i'll use the correlation between job autonomy and innovative esteem i will use the correlation coefficient to calculate the effect size in my meta regression example so let's start with the meta regression in open mee this is the user interface of open mee software this is the menu you can use various options uh, new open save save as import csv you can use uh, recent data and quit option there are various other options in this way you will enter your study data we have six uh, studies included in our meta regression sample uh, this is the study name we have six studies with the years uh, this is the correlation coefficients we have six correlation coefficients here is the sample size and this is the year of the study in which the study was published so keep in mind that year is uh, the continuous variable sample size is a count variable and correlation is a continuous variable now go to effect size, calculate effect size, you can see various options of data types, click on means and standard deviation, here the effect size, raw mean difference, hazard t, Allen response ratio, 22 to 2 contingency table, log odd ratios, risk differences, log relative risk and uh, oxygen transformed risk difference, proportions, raw proportion, log transform proportions, log it proportion, arc sine square root transform proportion and last one is correlation coefficient. We will use the Fisher's Z transform as we have the correlation in our data set. Click on next. This is uh, the calculate effect size wizard and uh, here you need to select the correlation and if sample size and click on estimate linkages between raw data and calculated effects click finish here you can see that two extra variables have been created by the software one is zr and second is variance of zr so zr is actually the effect size calculated from the correlation and it's the standardized scores of correlation and similar is for the variance of zr now click on analysis meta regression Data types, um, we will use uh, the correlation coefficient, features Z transform, next. Now select the correlation. Select the sample size. Select the effect size and variance and click next. Now here you can define your studies, the studies you want to include into your analysis. We will include all the six studies. You can refine the categories and refine missing data. But we don't have any missing data, so we will not use this. So refine source. So click on next. Here you need to shift uh, the covariate into the covariate box. We have uh, the covariate that is year. 
shift the ear into the covariates box and now you need to click on next model type you will select random effects here are fixed effects also we will use random effect and you will select uh, um, the restricted maximum likelihood estimators um, we have various other estimators available but I'll use this in my example type of analysis parametric bootstrap we will use parametric analysis output type and confidence interval we will use 95% confidence interval and click on next here is the summary of the analysis parameters. Now click on finish. Software is running the analysis. Here is the outcome. You can see the model summary. For residuals, uh, source, Q, degree of freedom and p-value. So total is uh, the Q is 4.2010, degree of freedom is 5 and it's insignificant. And for error, it's 4.1755, degree of freedom is 4 and it's insignificant as well. So overall the model is insignificant. This is the tau square, its value is 0 0.060, it's a tau. Its value is 0.244. Here's the I square. It's 93.19 percent, and H square is 14.69, uh, and R square is 0 0.00 percent. This is the test of residual heterogeneity, which is equivalent to Q is equal to 37.691, and it's significant at uh, 0.001. Test of moderators, we will not use moderators here. These are the main important uh, model results. You can see that ear has an estimate of 0 0.002, standard error is 0 0.010, and uh, Z value is insignificant at 0 0.873, and confidence interval lower and upper are also. You can see start from negative, positive, so zero lies inside the confidence interval. So its value is insignificant. Here is the regression plot between correlation and ear. So using this plot you can see that uh, the ears has no effect on the correlation of the studies. So therefore there is no impact of ears on the correlation of uh, the studies in the matter regression analysis. This is the ultimate conclusion of this uh, matter regression analysis. This is how you will conduct the matter regression in Open MEE. Thank you very much for joining me today. Are you tired of rejection of your academic scholarship? Submit your research to International Journal of Management, Economics and Social Sciences. With us, you will experience a reputable publishing platform that will guarantee high quality peer review. Our unique mentorship program enables you to develop your research to increase the chances of publication. Our editors are eminent researchers who will provide the much needed impetus for your academic works. Visit www.ijms.com and get your work published.